am Christine, and it's time for another book haul. We can talk books, and books, and books, and books together, together, together. together. We, we can, can talk books, 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 books you and me. me. Yeah, we can. So I just got back from a bunch of travels. I went from my friend's wedding in Jersey to Toronto for Buffer Fest, back to Jersey for New York Comic Con, then to Atlanta for a cool set visit, and then back here. It's been a while. I was super social for like me. At Buffer Fest, I talked to like lots of people. I was really proud. This is what happens when I talk to humans at a YouTube gathering. Like they don't do videos about books. I do do videos about books and it's like a weird like, whoa, books sort of a thing. And somehow we always end up on the topic of books, but they're not interested in books. But like, they think I'm so interested in it or like that it's the only thing that I can talk about. I don't know. I can talk about other things, but somehow like we end up on books and then they keep asking questions, even though I can see that their like interest is waning about the book. And I'm just like, I don't know how, I'm not a conversational wizard, so like I can't get out of the book comp, because I, I do like books, but I can see that they don't like books. I'm just like, why are we talking about this when I can, I'm a human who has other aspects to my humanity than books. And then like the conversation starts to Twitter away and I'm like, oh, why we don't have to talk about this. Stop asking me the questions. I have some books to show with you today. Yes, I am talking about Taylor Swift again. I didn't plan to talk about Taylor Swift today. I got home from traveling and I had confirmed that there were a bunch of packages here for me two days ago. And I got home and all my packages were stolen. It would it would appear. I'm I'm trying to rein back in rein in this anger and replace it with happiness. And who makes me happy? But Taylor Swift? <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm sorry people who don't like Taylor Swift! I I'm, can get away with this for one more month because we're counting down to Reputation, which comes out next month. Uh, uh, uh. I'm not gonna do a Taylor Swift song after every book today because that did take a long time. Every couple books will have a Taylor song. The first book I have today is, of course, our book explosion, October Book of the Month. This month we're working with Random House and we're reading A Short History of the Girl Next Door by Jared Reck. It's a debut contemporary that I'm really excited about because Jesse already read it and really enjoyed it and it was getting great reviews on Goodreads. I don't know exactly what it's about because I don't like to know what contemporaries are really about before I go into it. I guess I can look for you. Matt Wainwright is constantly sabotaged by the overdramatic movie director in his head. <laughs> interesting. He can't tell his best friend Tabby how he really feels about her. It sounds like a story of a boy in high school who likes a girl and is having trouble making things happen with her. The righteously funny and achingly authentic voice of this gorgeous coming of age story will break your heart. I love me a good coming of age story. And I really like the look of this book. I like the color palette. It's bright. It's highlighter bright. Now for the Taylor Swift song. But now I'll go sit on the floor wearing your Close. Last kiss. I remember listening to it for the first time and being so sad because I thought that someone Taylor had dated had died. But upon further listening, it sounded like they just broke up and they had a last kiss and she wasn't expecting it. I love the part when it's like, I watch your life in pictures like I used to watch you sleep. That like I used to watch you sleep line always <laughs> kind of gets me. Kind of throws me back to Twilight. The next book I have to show you today is Tosh Hart's Tolstoy, a novel by Catherine Ormshee. I've heard a lot of good stuff about this book, but every time I see it at the bookstore, I see this old guy who looks like the giver, and it's just not appealing. You know, when you see the giver on the cover, like looking, looking like a hot mess, I can't help but be like, Pass. Well, yes, I have been judging this book by its cover. I mean, I can only assume that this is Tolstoy. I have never read Tolstoy before. I was never forced to read it for any class, and so I just, you know, I bypassed Tolstoy. This book is actually about a young girl with a YouTube channel, her and her best friend are adapting Tolstoy's book, Anna Karenina, into a modernized YouTube web series. I believe I have only 50 pages in, but I believe that they go viral and becoming, like, famous through the web series. I really enjoyed the first 50 pages. I was having a lot of fun 
and watching their like YouTube channel grow. <laughs> then I had to put it down for other books. Let's take a little look at this title, shall we? Tosh Hart's Tolstoy. I don't know what you thought that meant, but I didn't get it. I was just like, I heard Tolstoy and I knew that Tolstoy was a famous writer, but I didn't no, like, what does this mean? Like, I, I thought it was three things, like books, bobs, bananas, or like lights, floors, refrigerators. <laughs> but it's a Tosh like Natasha, cause that's her name. Hearts, like she loves Tolstoy. She loves Tolstoy. That's why she's adapting his book into a web series. The next book I have to show you is our November book explosion book in the month. We're working with Disney on Hyperion, and that is Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard. The Ship of the Dead, the third and final book in the Magnus Chase trilogy. Super, super exciting. For the last two years, we've had book one and book two as our books of the month. So I'm so happy to wrap everything up with book three as being our November book of the month. I'm pretty, don't tell me, because I haven't read it yet. I'm pretty sure Percy's gonna make an appearance, hopefully. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But also I love Magnus and his whole crew, so I'm so excited. This is a dense little puppy here. <gasps> Ooh, there's a Norse insult generator in the back of my book. Ugh, it's so beautiful. Norse mythology is so much fun. So is other mythologies, but like since I don't know anything about Norse mythology, like I learn it all through this and the show Vikings and it's so much fun. If you haven't read any of the Magnus Chase books yet, you have like a whole month still because it's our November book of the month to read the first two and read this one so you can join us for the live show at the end of November. I'm so excited. I have two Riordan books. Riordan. I still have two Riordan books that I haven't read yet. I have to finish the second Apollo. Of course, I have to finish this. <laughs> Reading a Rick Riordan book is a treat. You know, it's a treat for the soul and the mind and the laughing. I love Sparks Fly. I love to dance around to it. I love the lyrics. I love the idea of song. Sparks flying and everything being cute and wanting to be bold. The next book I have to show you today is Autobiography by Christina Lauren. I'm really excited about this book. Some of my friends already read it and they absolutely loved it. I believe it's a love story about two boys, I think that are in high school. Now with one semester of high school to go. Yeah. I love this cover. Like, can we talk about how gorgeous this cover is? I can't stop touching it. Also feels great. And I love this title. Like, talk about perfect titles. I haven't read this book yet, from, but from the outside looking in, autobiography is an amazing title. Like, it's so cute. And this cover, this is the kind of cover I love. Like, these, like, artsy, drawn, painted. I don't know how this happened because I'm not an artist like that. Naked, purple, and black. Oh my God. This is a gorgeous book. Oh my God. I was reminiscing just the other day. Oh my God, Holy Ground is another one of my favorite Taylor Swift songs. The shuffle today, it's just picking up on what I wanna hear. Holy Ground is actually the song that when someone asked me like, pick a Taylor Swift song to go with your book that you're writing. And I picked Holy Ground and I still think Holy Ground fits it. And I, I love Holy Ground. It's um, universally accepted that it's about Joe Jonas. And yeah, that's all I have to say. Next book I have to show you today is part of a paid promotion with Disney Hyperion. They sent me The Adventurers Guild by Zach Lauren Clark and Nick Elopolis. So this is a fantasy series that I've been hearing really cool stuff about. Supposedly it's super great for people who are fans of Dungeons and Dragons. It's a fantasy about these two friends that have survived in a world that's been overrun by monsters. And there's a bunch of different guilds you can join once you come of age, I guess, to join a guild. They end up in The Adventurers Guild, which is a line of defense against all dangerous stuff that's happening in their world. Zed wants to join the ranks of the Mages Guild, and Brock 
wants to join the Merchants Guild, and these are two best friends, but they find themselves in the Adventurers Guild, which is dangerous, but I'm sure it's also exciting, and it's supposed to be super clever, and full of humor, and it sounds awesome. And I'm loving the art on the cover, and the map on the inside flap. Dang, this is pretty. It looks like a really cool, intricate world. And this is the first book in a brand new series. Next, the next book I have here is Warcross by Marie Lu. This is the final hardcover edition. I just bought it at Barnes and Noble. I really enjoyed Warcross. I have a whole book talk about it that I'm gonna leave linked in the description below. Warcross was great. It's the first in a duology, so there'll be one more book. Ooh, look at this, it's turquoise. Tay Tay. You should have been there. You said you'd be here for my birthday. Oh my God, the moment I knew was one of the songs that was only available like on the Target edition. And I hate when she does that, especially when the songs are really good. Like just let me buy it on iTunes, please. I love this song. I listen to it a million times. So with her, like why weren't you there? Bitch, how could you miss her birthday party, bitch? I think it's universally accepted that this is about what's his name? What's his name? What is his name? The guy in the movies. Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal missed her birthday. You're lost, man. The next book I have today is Turtles on the Way Down by John Green. This is John Green's first new book since Tiffio. It has been six years. It's super exciting to have a new book by him. I already read it. I already have a book talk up, so please go check that out if you wanna know what this is about. It, it might be my favorite new John Green book. Like, I haven't decided as I discuss further in my book talk. It was so thought-provoking as all of John's books are. It was good. That's all I'm gonna say because I spent like a million years talking about this in my book talk. There's gonna be a link to that in the description as well. And last but not least, Origin by Dan Brown. This is Dan Brown's new Robert Langdon book. It's big, it's blue, it's called Origin. You know, I, I haven't looked up what it's about because I don't want to. I'm definitely gonna read this and I plan on making a let's talk about Dan Brown books video where I break down what I think of each Dan Brown book without spoilers because I feel like a lot of y'all haven't read Dan Brown and I find him very enjoyable and thought provoking. So I can't wait to read this and like find out what it's about and break it down for y'all in my Dan Brown starter's guide. Maybe I'll call it the noob's guide to Dan Brown. I'm not sure yet. I'm playing around with it. I'm excited though, cause I enjoy speaking of Dan Brown. Let's get us one more Taylor Swift song to finish out the day. Change is off of, I think, the deluxe edition of Fearless. It came out during a time when the Olympics was happening. I think it was supposed to like correlate with the Olympics. I love this song. We can do it and we're gonna win. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. It's not really discussed, the, the song Change. No one ever is like, yeah, my favorite Taylor Swift song is Change. It might not be in my top 10, it might be in my top 20. The last thing I have to show you today is a box. I got in the mail from Colleen Hoover. Without Merit is out now, so you can go get it. I already read it. It was fantastic. No, I don't have a book talk for it yet. Let's open the box! Not every mistake deserves a consequence. Sometimes the only thing a mistake deserves is forgiveness. That is a quote from Without Merit. <gasps> oh, there's so many goodies in here. First we have, oh my God, is this a cookie? <gasps> it's a trophy cookie! Merit collects trophies. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's a keychain! It's a safety pin and a heart keychain that goes with the cover of Without Merit. We got a finished copy of Without Merit because my other copy is an ARC. Oh, this is nice. This has like the feelings on it. Oh my god, check these out! <laughs> How can I see through these? Like I can see through them fine. <gasps> and a pen. Oh my God, a Colleen Hoover pen. You know how much I love pens. <gasps> Another pen. Dollar Voss. Oh my God, cool. Merritt's last name is Voss. Oh my God. Oh my God, a magnet. This is going on the fridge. Oh man. Look, it's one of these cute book holder things, right? Yeah, yeah. These book holder things so like your paperbacks don't get messed up when you bring them with you and like put them in your purse and stuff because it's so easy for them to like get folded back. It's a without merit themed 
book slip. Get in there. Oh, that is cute. It's made by Book Boo. Book Boo. Thank you so much for sending this to me. Highly recommend Without Merit by Colleen Hoover if you have not picked this up yet. Hello! I am future Christine! And I found all my packages! Oh! Oh! Ow! <laughs> my packages! You don't even know. Nobody told me that the association that runs this building took all my packages and gave them to one of the people who are on the board here and she had them just in her living room. At least 10. 10! I'm so relieved. And one of them is an unboxing! I'm gonna go get that now. A new literary festival con is coming to LA in January and I'm gonna be there and I'm gonna do a panel and I'm gonna have a merch table. Beautiful con. There's gonna be like bookish workshops and some bookish panels and there's also gonna be like a bookish marketplace of like all the different bookish vendors who sell like bookish candles and pins and all sorts of cool stuff. And it's January 20th, 2018 in Los Angeles and inside this box are some of the things that are gonna be available at the marketplace. Let's do it! Ooh. And it's just one day, so it's like really easy. Tickets are on sale at BeulitFultCon.com. <gasps> oh! Oh my god! Another book sleeve! My soft cover books are gonna be traveling in style from now on. It's so pretty and it's made by Book Boo, who I bet are gonna be there. Got a little BeulitFultCon sticker. Ooh, what's this? Riddle's Tea Shop and Curious Teas for Superior Wizards! Oh my god, Riddle, like Tom Riddle's Tea Shop and Curious... Oh my god, this is so cool. Give me this! Book Hangover Blend. Irish Breakfast Hazelnut Cream. Oh, that sounds freaking delicious. Irish Breakfast is my favorite tea. Yeah, founded in October 2015 at the corner of Diagon and Nocturne Alley, Riddle's Tea Shop specializes in providing superior products for superior wizards. Oh my god, look this pin! It says, Books always what's this oh you know what it's probably bookmarks that's this is the shape of bookmarks <gasps> Ooh! this one says always these are the dust and pages collection bookmarks this one says dracarys oh that's cool and on the back it says blood of the dragon and then this one says weasley's wizards whizbangs oh that's cute I'm just gonna hang these up on my wall because I just lose bookmarks. I don't wanna lose these. I'm gonna think of them as mini posters. That's what all bookmarks are to me now. When I get a cool bookmark, I'm like, okay, going up on the wall. Candles! They're a Court of Mist and Fury series candles. Which one's the Court of, the white one is the Court of Dreams. How, oh, oh no, they, are they leaking? Something leaking. I speak the English. Maybe it got really hot and they started to melt. Oh, fork. Anyway, Court of Dreams. Smells kind of like fruity, like a really nice tangerine. What's the corner of nightmares gonna smell like? Ooh, like like a like a banana forest. That's this. Oh, I like this. What am I gonna do with these? These are for like romantic baths, right? That's what you do with these tea candles. I feel like I would set something on fire. I just like to have them to smell. Maybe I'll make like a romantic sink area for like when I'm doing the dishes, and I'll put them like along the sink while I'm dishing and then blow them out when I'm done so I don't cause a fire. Mm, they smell really good. These are summer gems from In the Wick of Time. Oh, I've heard of In the Wick of Time. They make really cool candles. Damn it, I'm really upset that it got really hot and they're like melting all over the place. We've got a tote. I get downright bookish. A bookmobile pin. And lastly, we have a beautiful Con 2018 bookmark. Beautiful, also going on the wall. And that is my book haul today. My Taylor Swift sequel, Angry. Oh my, are you kidding? That is my. Okay. Okay. That is my October book haul. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Christine. I will talk to you next time. I make videos every Tuesday. Goodbye. this on right now. Oh boy, I'm gonna go cool in this bitch.